Hi everyone, it's Allison from the Protocase Designer team. Today I'm going to talk to you about graphics. This tutorial will show you how to add graphics via silk screening and also digital print. We'll start at the basics by adding simple shapes and text and then we'll move on to importing our own images. So just a bit of background first, at Protocase we offer two different ways to apply graphics. One is silk screening and the other is digital print. They both offer their own advantages. Uh, our website protocase.com has a great breakdown between the two. Digital print is really flexible because it lets you print graphics that are highly detailed. It also offers the full CMYK spectrum of colors. Silkscreen, on the other hand, looks equally as sharp, but it is limited to 15 standard colors. It's best to use silk screening only if you have a limited number of colors required because each color needs to be silk screened separately. The more colors that are used means more time and more silkscreen setup fees. Now that said, if you have limited colors to silkscreen and you want it printed in larger quantities, silkscreen can be the most cost effective option. Before we get started on actually placing the graphics, I also wanted to show you something. Go to the Preferences section of Protocase Designer, which you can access by going to Edit in the top menu and then select Preference. Here's where you can set the software to save your default choice between direct digital printing or silkscreen. You can also opt for the software to ask you every time you want to place graphics. Totally up to you. Now for everything I'm going to show you today in this tutorial about adding graphics, the process is the same whether you're using digital printing or silkscreening. Okay, let's get started. I've got my panel ready to go in the 3D viewer. Select a face you'd like to place your graphics. So to get to the face editor, you're going to click on Edit Face either on the left-hand side of your screen or you can also go to Edit at the top menu of your screen, then click Edit Face. Okay, now we're in the face editor. Graphics can be applied directly onto the face of your enclosure using the same tools used for cutouts, such as a circle, ellipse, and rectangle tools. You can also use the path tool for creating custom shapes. To add your graphics, make sure you're in Graphic Mode, which is under the Mode toolbar. So earlier I talked a little bit about Preferences. That's where you tell the software to choose a default between Digital Print or Silk Screen, or you can also set it to Ask every time. So right now the software is prompting me to choose between the two because I did have it, the default was set to Ask. Depending on your requirements, you're going to choose which option works best for you. Because I'm doing this particular part of the tutorial for silkscreen, I'm going to ensure that silkscreen is selected. Okay, so now I'm seeing a pop-up that explains the advantages of using direct digital printing. For now, I'm going to still select no and stick with silkscreen. Okay, so now we're in graphics mode. I'm going to add a few basic shapes to this face. Uh, let's do a circle that's just an outline and we'll change the color to yellow. Now I'm going to add a rectangle, but I'll fill it this time and I'll make it blue. You can also use the text tool to apply text onto your design. This is especially helpful when you're labeling connectors. Let's add some text. You can customize any text you place by using the right hand menu to change the font to be exactly what you want the color, the size of the font, the font itself, or even the style. Keep in mind that every color you use will be a different silk screen, which means additional fees. Okay, so now we've covered adding basic shapes through graphics as well as text. Now we can import graphics into Protocase Designer. As I discussed at the beginning of this tutorial, Digital printing is far better suited to printing complex graphics with many colors or gradients. If you're ever unsure of which process to use for your graphics, you can check out protocase.com or you can also ask your Protocase account manager. Okay, let's add a custom graphic. This is done by importing an image and placing it directly onto the face that you're editing. Protocase Designer supports most of the common image formats including bitmap, PNG, JPEGs, GIFs. 
using a vector graphic, if at all possible, is recommended because it's going to give you the absolute best results. Okay, so we're still in graphic mode. To import a graphic, you're going to click on image on the left hand side. Click anywhere on the face to get the pop-up where you'll choose your graphic. I've got my logo that I want to import stored on my local desktop. I have it as both a PNG and a vector SVG file. Let's try adding the PNG first. Okay, so the software has detected that I'm not using a vector graphic. It's going to give me a few options. I can use the vector image instead, I can have Protocase fix the image if possible, or I can leave it as is. For this example, I'm going to leave it as is. However, if you do have a vector graphic, you can attach it here by clicking Use a Vector Image instead. So if you're still in silkscreen mode like I am, and your graphic contains colors that are outside of our 15 standard silkscreen colors, here's where you're going to get a prompt from Protocase Designer. It's going to ask you if you want to say yes to the software correcting the colors, or it's also going to offer you the chance to say no and apply the graphic as is, or finally you can switch to digital printing. At this time, I would suggest switching to digital printing. And because the logo that I'm using is far better used on the digital printer than silk screening, I'm also going to select it as well. Now that I've placed a logo, I can select it to move it around and also resize as needed. You can also resize the graphic you've placed by using the dimensions on the right hand side. Okay, so now I'll import a vector graphic just to show you the difference. And there's my SVG file. Okay, I've uploaded it. And there it is. Same as before, you can move it around and resize it as necessary. That about covers everything you need to know about adding graphics to your design. Like I mentioned before, our wiki is a great source of information, and so is protocase.com. If you have any questions, please check out the Protocase Designer forum, or you can also email info at protocasedesigner.com. Thank you.